What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to drain the oil from the oil cooler in a Trackhawk. There's a step that you have to do before you do this. Um, obviously everybody knows that, you know, changing the oil, that's a regular thing that you have to do. But what a lot of people don't realize is this thing has an oil cooler and it traps oil in the oil cooler. But there's a drain for that. The problem is, out of the factory, these Jeeps, don't come with an access port so you can't get to the oil cooler in order to get to it you have to take the front bumper off now I've already made a video on what you should do in that situation if you don't want to pull the bumper off if you want to watch it I'm gonna put it right here and don't hate on me because it was my first video and I know it was terrible you don't have to tell me this is gonna be the short version on how to change or drain the oil cooler so give me just a second, I'm gonna get this thing jacked up and then I'll show you what to do. So once you get the oil drained and you're positive that you got it all out. Yeah, act like an old man. Now, this little plate right here, this is aftermarket. And when I say aftermarket, I mean I made that. And all I'm gonna do is unscrew these, maybe. Don't want to come out. But these will. And that's where all the rocks hide. So, <clears throat> right there. Right there is your old cooler drain. So, all you got to do. Oh, that's wrong size. So, a little tip on uh, doing this without making a huge mess. You're going to need a little skinny funnel like this. I just want to stick that up in there. First, go ahead and put a rag or something, a shop towel, whatever, back here. That way, whatever does drip out gets on that and doesn't get behind your little wind diffuser here. So I've backed the I've backed the bolt out until it's basically almost dripping. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if I can do this with a camera or not, but I'm gonna spin this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it with a camera. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this funnel like this. See that little lip right there? That's gonna help you out tremendously. Stick that there, and then I'm gonna stick my hand up in there and back the bolt out the rest of the way. And then this funnel is gonna pour into here because I'm gonna move that over. So hang on just a second and I'll show you. There you have it. It's draining. And then you just wait it out. So once this is done, I'm gonna put it back in and uh, I'm gonna run some oil through the, through the system to clean it out. And then, um, yeah. That's gonna be it. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, once you get that plate fabricated and put up there, it makes it a whole lot easier. Now, <coughs> I've had several people ask me, are those three screws gonna be enough to hold at high speeds? I've been over 140 miles an hour multiple times with this on here and it is yet to bend or anything. It hasn't done anything. I don't think the wind catches it at all. So anyways, guys, 
I gotta drop this thing down, put some more oil in it, and uh, get it started up and ready for tomorrow. If this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot of videos like this in the future. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.